So for about a week now, I have been fiddling with the iPhone Pop 9. And if you ask me, I think the best thing about this iPhone has to be the design and of course the new processor. Okay, by now I think you get the joke I'm trying to make, but seriously though, this is the Techno Pop 9. And I think with this design, Techno actually took their copying of the iPhone to a very intentional level. But what about you? What do you think about this design? Do you like it or you don't? Let me have your thoughts in the comment section below. And the Techno Pop 9 can be found in just two colors, the black and the white. I have the black here with me and I really like the way it reflects light at the rear. As at the time of making this video, these are the prices of the different internal storage and RAM versions that are available in the market. Now when it comes to the build quality, it is made of plastic as you would expect. However, it comes with dual speakers with DTS sounds. And I would say after testing these speakers, they sound really loud. Now the side mounted fingerprint works pretty fast as you would also expect. It also has an IP rating of 54. So that means it can survive a bit of dust and water splashes. And I personally find this super impressive because most entry level phones for techno do not come with any form of official IP rating. Now, what else is new about this phone? Well, that would be the processor. It comes with the Unisoc T615 processor. Now, even though it has the same 12 nanometer architecture like the T606 we had in the Techno Pop 8, but it has a slightly higher clocking system. So in terms of performance, it is a tad better than the Techno Pop 8. I wasn't able to download Asphalt 9 and some other games I would like to play on this phone, but games like Call of Duty Mobile played at very low graphics and very low frame rate and also don't forget the fact that the pop series is techno's lowest entry level phones in this region so what that means is that it is basically for everyday smartphone operations and light gaming like candy crush subway surfers and all those kids raising games now compared to other devices that are similarly priced like the redmi a3s the Redmi A3, the ITEL A70, and even the Infinix Smart 8, I would say this has a slightly better processor. Except the Samsung Galaxy A05 that have the Helio G85 that is clogged up to two gigahertz. So in terms of performance, it's definitely better than this phone. Now, still on the technical level, Techno Mobile did not maximize the processor on this phone, mostly in terms of display and camera. Now, in terms of display, the Unisoc T615 can support either a 1080 pixel at a 60 hertz refresh rate or a 720p display at a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, if you are giving these two options to choose, which one would you choose? Definitely for me, and I think for you also, you will go for the 1080p at 60 hertz refresh rate. But Techno Mobile chose to go for the 720p at 120 hertz refresh rate, which it's not the better option if you ask me. However, if it's any form of consolation, YouTube videos on this phone can play up to 1080p. So that means you get really good quality in terms of your video viewing experience. Screen brightness is not officially stated on Techno's website, but I'm guessing between 400 to 500 nits, which is also very good for an entry level device. And that makes it fairly usable outdoors. Now back to the refresh rate, I said it can go as high as a 120 hertz on paper but for the one week i have been using it yeah i didn't really see anything that looks like a 120 hertz in fact this app i used to test the refresh rate that the phone has gone to highest since i've been using it said the highest it has attained is 90 hertz and really it does feel like a 90 hertz refresh rate phone. but for a budget phone i would say 90 hertz is also pretty fast now good thing though is the fact that the techno pop 9 has a good battery it comes with a 5000 mAh battery and a fairly fast charging speed of 15 watts. Battery management on this device is also very good, so it will take you a day or two, obviously depending on your usage. But when it comes to charging time, well, it took me about 2 hours 5 minutes to get it from 20% back to 100% yesterday so that is still fairly good for in for an entry level phone 
Now, something else you would definitely be interested in is knowing what techno means by the four years plus lasting fluency that they have written all over the carton and the wrapping of this food. When I checked out that website, they said it means that you would experience seamless performance that will last four years plus without any kind of lag. Which is pretty exaggerated if you ask me because since I've been using this phone, yeah, I've experienced a bit of lag here and there. Now, for you to have anything close to a lag-free experience using this phone, what you want to do is that you want to avoid buying the base model, which is the one that comes with 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Now, even though the RAM can be extended up to 6 gig using memory fusion, the fact is that it doesn't really dramatically increase the performance of the phone. Yeah. And the second advice for Techno is that if they really want us to have four years of fluency when it comes to using this phone, then they should give us at least two years of Android update. But the fact is this phone comes with Android 14, the Go edition. So can we even have the full edition or talk of Android 15 and Android 16? I don't know, but the truth is those two conditions have to be met for you to have anything close to a fluent usage when it comes to your experience using this phone. Lastly, there is also the 4.5G network that is also bully advertised everywhere around this phone, which for me, it is something every budget phone will, should have a very good network and a very good battery. Now, for my testing, yeah, I saw 4.5G. So what that means is that in terms of using this phone to browse the internet, you're gonna have better speeds than the regular 4G. And of course, that will definitely improve your experience. Now, another aspect of this phone where the processor was not fully maximized by techno is in the cameras do you know that the unisoc t615 can support up to 108 megapixel but instead we still get a 13 megapixel back camera and an 8 megapixel front camera both cameras have dual flash that can enhance your photography and also the front flashlight can serve as a charging indicator which is another very important use case the pictures are okay for the price point of this phone in terms of processing you can't really complain now with more lighting you can get even better pictures than the one i'm showing you right now these ones we are taking in a very cloudy weather which is what is kind of prevalent right now in nigeria now videos can also go as high as 1080p at 30 frames per second of course there are lots of noise in the video but once again when you consider the fact that it's an entry-level phone you can't really complain. So what is my summary of the Techno Pop 9? Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, the best part of this phone has to be the design, which obviously they copied from Apple, and the new processor. Other than that, everything else just seems gimmicky for me. The 120 Hz refresh rate is not noticeable. The four years plus no lag promise is just that at best. A promise we just have to wait and see if that is even possible at all but i will give it to the speakers they are pretty good for an entry-level phone and like i said before the processor is decent so overall i would say it's a very good device and it's worth the money but i want to put a question mark to that because very soon we'll be getting the infinix smart 9 the samsung galaxy a06 and the redmi 14c so when all these phones come i will definitely compare with this phone to just know how it fares when it compares to other similarly priced devices so there you have it my review of the techno pop 9 or the iPhone Pop 9 if you choose to call it that. However, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also like this video for more people to see it on YouTube. I would see you in my next video.